what's up guys uh welcome to great miracles avenue now for those of you joining us for the first time my name is joseph and i'm honored to be your host in this spiritual growth and then discovery of events in this end time now in today's video i'm going to share with you a couple of dreams that were sent to us by two people okay they are both coming from um, the united states uh, if you are blessed to find this video today, I ask that you subscribe to my channel to join our Happy Christian family and also uh, share it with your friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. It is my hope and prayer that you stay with me to the very end of this video to have a clear insight of the message. Okay, so I'm going to read it. I'm actually going to read it in the very same manner in which it was uh, sent to me. Okay, no part has been taken out and nothing has actually been added to the story. So just relax uh, and then just pay attention as I start reading. I mean, I proceed with the reading of the first dream. Okay, all right. Dear Great Miracles Avenue, I am a huge fan of your channel and I find great inspiration and strength by watching your videos and preaching about God. I am a Christian from the United States. In my early 20s, in the early hours of Wednesday, March 20th, during the middle of the night, I had a horrible vision of Elon Max being either the Antichrist or releasing the mark of the beast to the world in Neuralink. In a vision, I saw Elon Max he was involved in the Antichrist government power plays, deceiving the world to inject Neuralink in everyone. This was the quickest part of the vision. Just a quick picture of him sitting in a chair with a crown on his head. Then I saw myself strapped to a table in some kind of experimental medical lab. And the government agents working for the Antichrist were attempting to inject Neuralink in me against my will. I fought them off with all my heart and soul to resist the mark of the beast. In the vision, I decided in that instance to give my life to Jesus and not accept the mark of the beast in Neuralink. And in the vision, God gave me supernatural strength that allowed me to overcome Satan and his minors and reject the mark as well. I believe God sent me this dream to remind me to stay strong in my faith and not to become tempted by Satan and the world. I have fallen short recently, but God sent me this dream to remind me that Jesus is the light, the truth, and the way. Now, please share this vision with Great Miracles Avenue, and I pray everyone uses God's guidance to discern my vision. God bless you and keep up the great work. Okay, so uh, that was the first dream that was said to us by uh, a dear sister from the United States. Okay, uh, this is actually a, a dream she had concerning Elon Max. Okay, but just like I keep telling you always, that um, we need to discern any uh, message we come across. Okay, Ex most especially when someone is sending it out to us, it doesn't mean that once this uh, vision or dream is being shared on the channel, it means that it is coming from I mean God. Okay, I'm not saying it otherwise, but then we need to pray and seek discernment from the holy spirit uh, know truly that this is actually coming from god that is the best thing we need to do now i'm going to read the second dream okay also pay close attention while i proceed with the reading of the second dream okay please find my dream attached below and um, may god bless you hello great miracles avenue and hello to all that are watching this video i would like to kindly thank you for taking the time to share my dream that I had on March 16th of 2024. My name is Jason Baptist and I currently live in New York City. A couple of months ago, in the summer of last year, I had submitted a dream that the Lord gave me regarding the day of death. Since then, I have been praying and the Lord gave me another dream, which I believe contains a stronger message. From what I can remember in the dream, I was at my job, just like any other normal day. As I was working, I felt the urge to take a look outside the window, and what I saw shocked me and all those around me. As I looked out of the window, I saw a man clogged in all white robe floating in the sky. Everyone looked up in disbelief as this was the second coming of our Messiah, Lord Jesus. After that, the dream abruptly ended from what I can remember. But before the dream ended, I remember that there was so much confusion and panic 
as I would assume that everyone realized that the end of the world was essentially here. Let me say this. The second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ will be unlike any other historical event that came to pass. And that's why it is our responsibility as Christians to go out and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ so that every living soul can have a chance to be saved. If needed, I can send this dream in French so that it can be reached to more people across the world. We as the body of Christ need to make sure that our lives and homes are in order so that we can be saved from the impending horrors that is have to come upon the planet Earth. I pray that we all are found worthy enough to be saved from what's coming. In a dream, a couple of weeks before this one, I was at work and all I remember was someone telling me it was time to get right with the Lord. We need to take this seriously because, as James said in James chapter 4, verse 4, you adulterous people, don't you realize that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God? I say it again. If you want to be friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. James then goes on to say in verse 7 and 8, So humble yourself before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. I pray that all those who come across this video take heed to this warning and take time to get right with the Lord Almighty. God bless you, families, and God bless the world, which is his creation. Amen. Okay, so that is it uh, for these two dreams. Uh, just like I said, if you're watching this video, uh, I believe you have listened. And then um, if you've gained any understanding, you can share your views. If, if probably you don't understand, you can rewatch the video again. And then also, like I said earlier, just pray to God and seek discernment. Okay, the section is open. Okay, so you can leave your views and then share whatever you want to uh, share on your mind based on what you just had or based on what I just read to you. Okay uh yeah I, I just want to thank you for staying with me to this uh very end of the video okay please help us just like our brother said in his last message just help us share this video as a message of god to the world okay share with your friends and family so that everyone can also uh, get this message now if you haven't subscribed already i ask you to subscribe and then join our happy christian family okay so that you can receive other videos on god's words in the coming days ahead okay God bless you and thank you very much.